Camping really is one of the best ways to see the nature in Canada and to experience outdoor activities. Hi everyone! So today we're filming outside because as you might know, the weather in BC is actually getting a lot better. We're about midway through June now. And I know it's been a little bit harder to enjoy the weather outside, but luckily for us in BC, you can start going camping. So originally because of COVID-19, the provincial sites were all closed. You couldn't overnight camp. You could only occasionally actually go for day use. But now as of June 1st, everything is open again. So you're actually able to go overnight camping for a series of days, as well as to private campsites if you'd like as well. All right, so in light of that, I'll be giving you my top three favorite camping locations. I'm um, growing up in Vancouver. I've had the opportunity to camp along the coast in the interior, and a lot on Vancouver Island and in the Gulf Islands as well. So I'll be introducing you to those secret spots and telling you all about what I've been doing since I've been camping. You'll hear about different activities I've been up to when I, got, when I went camping, and hopefully you'll enjoy them as well and be able to partake in them this summer. All right, let's get into them. All right, so the first spot is Campbell River, and this is an area that's located on Vancouver Island. So from Vancouver, it takes about four hours to get there total. So you have to drive to the ferry terminal and generally you'll take the ferry from Tawasson, but you're also able to take it from North Vancouver, depends on your preference. Um, and once you've taken the ferry, which is about two hours to Nanaimo, you have to drive about two hours up to Campbell River. So in total, it is a bit of a long journey, but it's also definitely worth it. This is one of my favorite places to go camping. So some of my favorite things that I've done there are I visit these particular potholes, which are holes kind of carved into the rock that you can swim around in, they're that deep and then this very small river that's usually quite secluded and very pretty. The water is very green. Um, and another favorite thing I do there is I go hiking on Mount Washington. So it's actually a ski resort during the winter, but during the summer it's open to the public um, and you can take the chairlift up, but not in your skis, which I think is kind of cool. And then you get a really stunning view of the valley. It's really, really beautiful. I highly recommend it. Uh, and my third favorite, um, which probably actually is my ultimate favorite, is doing river tubing at the Puntledge River. So this river runs throughout Comox and Courtney, which is outside Campbell River. And what you do is that you like sit in your tube. You can have like your drink with you. You can have like, if you have like a waterproof speaker or if you have your phone waterproof, you can bring that as well. And you float down the river and there's sections that are quite fast, which is really, really exciting. It's really, really beautiful. Um, occasionally you even see seals because you're so close to the ocean. And it's really exciting to do with your friends. You tie all together and you just go sailing off into the rapids. So for those reasons, Camp River is one of my favorite places and it's definitely somewhere I recommend you go. It's not too common of a spot yet, so get going soon. Um, where I've camped there historically is at Pacific Playgrounds, which is a private campground and it's open during COVID-19. All you have to do is book online and get going. Okay, second spot on the list. This is Galliano Island. This is somewhere I actually recently went to with my boyfriend and it was a really awesome spot. And what's great about it is it's so close to Vancouver. So to get to Galliano Island, it only will take you about like an hour and 45 minutes total. Because all you have to do is get to Tawasin, take the ferry, and then the ferry is actually only 50 minutes long. Super, super easy. Um, a really great trip if you just want to go for one or two nights, I think. And there's so much to do on the island. So some things I enjoyed doing there was going to Sturdy's Bay, which is actually the bay right where the ferry is, and you can look around at all the tide pools. There's usually some starfish, oysters, little fish, occasionally a sea anemone if you're really lucky. Um, another thing that I really enjoy doing is going to Bluffs Park. So Bluffs Park is a pretty famous hike on Galliano Island, and you can do it two ways. You can kind of stop at the bottom with your car and then walk up to the viewpoint, or you can just go straight to the viewpoint. So what my boyfriend and I ended up doing is we actually went to the top, right up to the viewpoint, and we parked our car there. There's a little parking lot, and we just had lunch together. And I thought it was really, really nice. Um, the third thing we did that I really enjoyed, and you might be thinking, wow, it's way too cold for this one, but it really was worth it, um, was we went swimming in the ocean. So there's a beach at our campground that we stayed at called Montague Marine Park, um, and we climbed over some rocks, and we went like cliff jumping into the water, even though it was freezing cold. We got to swim around for the day in the afternoon. It was really, really nice. It was still about 20 degrees out, so it was okay. If you want to go to Galliano Island, what I recommend is booking a site at the Provincial Park, so that's Montague Harbour Marine. This one takes people that want to walk in, so if you want to go bike camping, you could go, or you can just drive and park your car and then walk into your site. It's a really awesome site, very big, um, and it's provincial, so it's really well kept. All right, uh, third one up on the list is another island. It's some, the islands, I think, are just really beautiful, lots of ocean views there, and it's Main Island. So Main Island, like Galliano, will only take you about two hours to get to. Um, all you have to do is go to the Tawasin Ferry Terminal and take the ferry for about an hour and a bit just to get to Maine. 
So you actually stop at Galliano first on the ferry and then you'll get off at Maine on the next one. So I really love Maine Island. I actually have family there, which makes it even nicer for me to go to. And some of my favorite things to do there are visit the lighthouse. So there's a really famous lighthouse there. It's a historic site. Um, and around it is some nice ocean views as well as some tide pools that you can go visit. And another thing I like doing usually like after that or after a hike on Maine is to go to the Groove Kitchen. So the Groove Kitchen is a really awesome restaurant on Maine serving all kinds of food from soups to salads to sandwiches and it has a massive patio that overlooks the view. Um, it's a really stunning, stunning spot and I highly recommend checking it out. They're very, very nice. Finally, a third thing I like to do is go to Bennett Bay. So this again is right on the water um, and it's probably your best spot for looking into tide pools. You can see little fish, lots of starfish, and I saw a ton of sea anemones, which I thought was really, really cool. It's a great place to experience Canyon nature, that's for sure. So while you're there, you have a few options in terms of camping. There are some cabins there, but you can also camp at the Seal Cottage. Um, there's campsites there as well as cottages, whatever you feel is better appropriate to you. Um, and it's private, so I recommend booking that online. Okay, so those are my top three favorite camping spots here in BC. Um, and these places aren't immensely popular, so if you go to visit them, there's a decent chance you'll be able to find somewhere to camp, um, and that there won't be like a ton of people everywhere at the different sites I've mentioned. Camping really is one of the best ways to see the nature in Canada and to experience outdoor activities. It can even be a gateway to things like whale watching, which can often be done in the city, but being out in these remote areas is usually a little bit better, of course. It's an awesome experience. Um, even if you haven't done it before, there's lots of beginner's guides online, that are specific, of course, to Canadian campsites as well. All right, I hope you all get a chance to actually go camping this summer, um, and then you can have some enjoyment, since I know COVID-19 is making that a little bit difficult, um, and that you see some really, really stunning places. I'd love to hear about it. All right, as usual, thank you all for watching the video. We'll be uploading more soon to our YouTube channel, Official CISM, and our website, mycism.com. Stay tuned for videos next week, and as always, stay safe.